Hey guys, what's up? This is Gom. I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of From Dust. I was just released today. It is August 17th, and this is on the PC version. As you can see, I have a mouse cursor, and it's absolutely amazing. Um, some of you may know that I did stream a little bit at the beginning, so it's not entirely blind. I know about the first, like, five levels. Maybe four. No, yeah, it was five. And that was about, that's about all I did, but um, I'm going to start a new game because some of you guys may not have seen uh, anything of it. So, let's rumble. Andisi Nikita, ai siku ya Bertama. Tida kata mekumobu, tida roo kajiketawi. Tida roo nanshi nakilaki, tampa kita terpisah, ta sindiri dan duniani. Bertama, kita roo welaga utu lazima dunia. You know, I'm really surprised that these guys kind of calmly fucking approach a giant black sphere just floating in the middle of nowhere. And then they play instruments at it as if, you know, that's a smart thing to do. I'd be kind of like what I'm doing now. Like, I'd just stop as soon as it starts freaking getting bigger. But, you know, apparently they remember that they can summon the gods using interpretive dance and music. So, I guess that's why they don't run away from the giant ball of doom. Kita ada dalam ro berkat lazima dunia. Tapi fikirah ro kosong dan kami jawab. Setelah meditasi ini bahagia, berjela ina weza boleh bermula. So I'm sure most of you have already seen my demo stuff, but if you haven't seen the demo stuff, then you, well, well then you just got to watch these few beginning levels. Um, and as I go through the tutorial, now I do want to say something. Um, some of you might have noticed, I'm not exactly getting the most perfect of FPS here. Um, I'm currently at 20 FPS, 21, is it staying around that area? I'm not sure if it will dip really far below whenever really big events happen, but, you know. It's a shame that <laughs> my computer can't really run this and record this at the same time. Like, if, I, if I'm not recording, it runs it perfectly fine, but, um... Yeah, I'm getting at 20 FPS. It's fine. It, it does. It's not too bad. So we're just gonna continue on. It doesn't really affect my performance as a friggin' god, a floating spear of doom. I'm not really a spear anymore, though, am I? I'm just kind of like a random line that goes around the world, and then I suck things up into a spear shape. The sea has destroyed our path. We are stuck. Is it? That's like... Okay, okay, I'm not gonna say it's shallow. It's not, it's definitely not shallow water. You could definitely like sink below that. It's like, it's like seven feet of water. Oh no. I'm still gonna keep on griping about how my people don't know how to swim. Then again, you know, it's still possible that they might have lost the memory on how to swim. Wow, that was perfect. I did that on the first try. Get rid of that. So basically, um, for the people who don't know what From Dust is, From Dust is a god game. Um, that basically means what it sounds like. I am an omnipotently powered 
god-like being. Uh, some games have you, you know, you just, like The Sims. Sims is kind of like a god game. You tell your characters what to do. You don't have direct control of the world, but, you know, it's kind of like that. But uh, it's kind of the opposite, too. I don't have control over my character, these guys, as much as I do the world. Um, these first few levels, I'm not going to have as much control. Like, in this first level, I can only pick up sand. And the next level, I might be able to get water, and then so on and so forth, until it teaches me all the abilities and it starts throwing challenges at me. Um, but I did enjoy the demo. Oh, and that that reminds me. My god, I can't believe I forgot to say this. Um, I was actually gifted this by a fan. They sent me the money um, to a PayPal account. And, you know, I, I don't know if they want their names to be put out on YouTube. In, but, you know, if they're watching this, which I hope they are, thank you. I mean, I, I actually, uh, the, the what I played earlier, I'm enjoying this so far, and hopefully you guys on YouTube enjoy watching this too. And hopefully I can bring it some justice. It's definitely not a shooter. It's definitely not supremely fast-paced and exciting, but it's calming and fun. Until shit hits the fan, but that's a different point. I'll try not to ignore, like, the story, like... Um, I am a little bit interested in what happened to these people to cause them to lose their amazing abilities to have a giant spear of awesomeness commanding the land. So I'm gonna read the uh, memories of the people whenever I can, whenever I get the chance, whenever I remember. I think I got one already. Yep, look at that animals. We have the planter. There was an an there was once an animal so voracious that it gobbled down all the plants in sight leaving only desert in its wake. All right. The breath of the plants went to plead with the beast, but it ate the breath as well. Oh, wow. All right. The journey. Music. The world was created with a sound. The sound snaked, and music was born, and with it all the elements, the sun, the water, the earth, and life. When the music fluctuates, and so do the elements, because... Oh, because all is movement and music is a reflection of this movement. <laughs> Alright. The trees of water vibrate naturally to the music of water. Okay. The trees of fire resonate to the music of fire, and so forth. As for the men, they have the ability to learn each of the melodies of the world. They do so by obtaining a power. And then the breath. It is by playing music, the shaman tells us, that we discovered the breath of the tribe. The breath is what makes us men. I make them men! I don't know if that's creepy or not. And through the breath, we can act upon the world and apply the powers of music. Every creature and every element, without exception, possesses its own breath. To know its music is to master its actions. Thus, a tree of fire possesses the breath of fire. The power of the breath of man lies in its ability to acquire all the music in the world. Awesome. Okay, we're going to read one more of the breath. In the beginning, even the ancients had no breath. With nothing but a shell and a piece of wood that they found, they began to play. The music sprang forth, and with it, a tiny breath, they attached the breath to themselves. Seeing that it was empty, they decided to offer the breath all the music of the world. The island sheltered none, and so they moved on. This island contains the breath of the tribe. Ah. So I guess, uh... The territories are, I guess, are, are, are the levels. So I'll explain the, what the what the areas are like as we go. And I'll read that last tribes thing in a, li in a bit. Um, so I'm just going to start setting up. As I said before, played this level not only in the demo, but earlier. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this set up. I can't pick up water yet, I think. Nope. Alright, so I'll just make the land bridge. I'm not going to do something really, really tedious, like fill the entire land up with uh, sand and stuff, because yeah, we don't want to do that. Oh, I do, but I don't waste your times on the YouTubes while I just kind of fill a land up with sand. I'm sure the later levels, I'm not too sure, but I think the later levels will actually give me the ability to, you know, just kind of do what I want. We'll see. 
like I said, mo the levels are probably going to be like challenges that we have to deal with. Um, I kind of went through that, by the way, really fast. If, so if you guys didn't see that, I have to get... On the maps, there are these totems. These really big things right here. And in order to pass the level, I have to settle or send a bunch of men successfully over to the totems. Um, and once I get all that set up, I, it activates the last gate and I can leave through it. I'm not sure if it has to be every single totem on the map. There might be some where it's like an optional totem or something like that. Um, but for the most part, yeah. I just have to do things. Uh, the totems don't like water being next to them, so I have to kind of clear them out. My people can't swim even if it's like an inch of water, so I gotta watch out for that. Don't want them to die. Just kind of even this area out so we can continue walking. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. One thing that's really great, though, and this is one of the things I expected from the PC version, um, is how fast I can move. Like, if I look at this, bam, over there, and then bam, bam, bam. On the Xbox, it just kind of be like, it's be like, eh, snake across the land. I mean, not to brag or anything, but yeah, that that I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I did have to lower the mouse sensitivity a bit, though, because it was really high up, and I was like, whoa, 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 like, oh god, I can't do this right. Well, let's get this memory back. I might have to cut back on that promise. I do want to kind of... Because um, I'm not sure if, like, levels are, uh... Are... Or I'm not sure if memories are level-specific. So I might I might try to fill out this land a little bit. I should probably get this water before it floods and kills all the plants. Stop filling my land up, ocean. Boy. Alright, yeah, as you can see... Oh, now I'm getting a message. Um on Skype because I forgot to put it on Do Not Disturb. So you might hear a few sounds as people message me and stuff. But as you can see, and as the game is now telling us, the podium is now active. Oh, the, the, the exit gate is now active, which is great. Awesome. And we'll get we'll start setting up a bridgeway to it, actually. Alright, see? There, nice. And this this stuff is kind of in the middle of nowhere, so we're just going to grab some of it and make some more land. I'm just trying to fill up the bar so the animals spawn in, and then I can get to the 100% and unlock another story. Since, you know, we'll, we'll read up a little bit more on that. Like I said, I don't know if uh, the memories are level specific or not, so I don't really want to miss out on that. So let's see what we got while we're here. Let's see. Geology. The sources. Water wept as it flowed ever downwards. It sent streams to learn the music of Earth in order to move more freely along its surface. But the Earth sensed it and absorbed these watery serpents. Some hid beneath the Earth. 
From time to time, the serpents emerge from their nests. These are the sources. Oh, okay. The sources flow of their own volition and may be liberated by digging through the surface. They carry earth all along their course, and a slit-rich source will, will deposit earth at the bottom of its river bend, forming a, a delta. <laughs> Alright, so it just explained why uh, this is a source. Um, Alright. This is a source, it creates water inf for an infinite amount of time, also whatever reason that tree like bends back and forth. Um, and apparently it creates land or deltas too. I don't know if we can like see it growing or not, but that's kind of cool. I mean, I mean, if we were to stay here for a while, I guess that'd fill up. Uh, let's see what happens if I... Now... Um, on some levels, they're hidden. On, on some of the further levels, at least the one I got to, uh, there can be hidden ones. So, kind of have to watch out for that. Because they can be disastrous, too. Because, remember, our people don't like water. There we go. See? Water gone. Don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing. The good, the good thing is that, you know, the water's never really going to go away. Um, all I have to do is uncover that area of its sand, and it will be set. I'm just going to kind of do this, drain the area of its land, stuff like that. Link the land bridges, get some vegetation across. And we're going to be great. Now one thing, as you might have noticed, uh, I cannot grab the... Uh, I can only grab sand. I don't know if later on I'll be able to grab, like, red rock... Uh, the, the regular rock. Like, this stuff right here, I can't grab it. Like, I can get the sand on top of it, but that's about it. Um, I'm going to assume that I'll never be able to actually pick up this rock stuff. Because then it, it has to be like a limitation. So I don't mess up and lift up a mountain by accident. Maybe there'll be explosives that I can use to blow them up if I really want to, though. We'll see. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to have vegetation grow and spread throughout the land. I don't know why there's already vegetation here and not spreading, but whatever. No, I don't want the water. <laughs> I'm gonna form a little wall here and divert the river to the side or something. We'll see how it forms. Hello. There's a source. That's a lot of water. Crap. I did a bad job at blocking it off. I'm gonna send my guys over here now. I'm just I, instead of waiting for 100%, I'm just gonna wait for the animals to spawn, because it can take a while on this map since I don't exactly have all the control of the world. Who the heck is this person? This is an old person. Holy crap! He's got a freaking cane and or a uh, walking stick. Yes, that's his. That's water. Good job noticing. Um, as you know, as some of you have looked at the top left, I have these like these little things at the top, where it's like one, two, three, four. Those are uh, later on. Those are going to be slots for powers that you can attain on maps. Um, I'd explain them, but that might be kind of spoilerific. We'll just see them as we go along. They're pretty awesome. I've I've gotten all of them. Um, I haven't really used the last one that much because that's the level I stopped playing on. But yeah, they're pretty cool. I think the animals should be spawning sometime soon. I mean, I have a lot of this place covered up. Yep, there we go. I 
I still don't know what kind of animals these are. I mean, what? they're like giant worms. That's bad. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can hear like a little tiny staticky sound from when they beat their drums. So sorry about that. Maybe I'll just call them. I'll, I'll, I'll tell them to stop and let them stand around for a little bit. Please stop beating your drums and messing up everybody's ears. No. All right. Ah. Why isn't it the vegetation? Oh, well, the vegetation did spread around there. Alright, so what do we need for this area? We just need vegetation to spread along this? Holy crap, that thing's killing the plants. Stop killing the plants! Oh, it ate the tree. What a shame. So does it? We're just gonna stare. I'm not sure. Does it make a extend the land out a little bit? Stare. 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 Okay. I don't know. I, I was. I kind of lost track. It seems like it's making more land. It's hard to tell because my, for whatever reason, I get moved. Maybe, they, maybe I'm getting moved because the land's there. Well, okay. Yeah, and if you actually, if you, wow, okay, yeah, it's definitely spread out a lot. It used to be like over here, and now it's nearly connected to this land. Holy shit. Right, I'm gonna drain this water out. Yay! You got a new memory for territories. Yeah, okay, see? Once you've completed it, that's when it'll reveal it. The ancients arrived on a chain of islands where life thrived on a silt-rich delta. Yeah, see? So I had to get all the stuff... Um... I have to get all the... land covered... or most of it... to get the territory story. Alright. Okay, let's look at this vegetation real quick. The palm trees, the first animals came into existence on a new island, but there was nothing but the earth, arid and barren, and that is why they all perished. As soon as the palms grew, the animals prospered and men settled in. The palms grow on the naked earth, but does not encroach on other vegetation. It will not grow on either rock or water. It is inflammable. That's good to know. Alright, the village. The men journeyed endlessly since they suffered from loneliness. They decided to populate the lands they came upon. They performed the rituals around the totems and built their huts. A village serves as a shelter and as a place for men to survive and carry on. When a village is created, vegetation propagates all around it. A village is vulnerable to numerous threats. Fire, flooding, rampaging destroyers. But the powers can protect the village from all of these. Sometimes a village can be moved. Around the village, the men sculpt statues where they co-sign their knowledge gained through experience. 
Yep. As it mentioned, in later levels, you actually learn how to move these potem totems around if it's in a really undesirable position, like right in front of where a flood constantly hits. So, at least there's that. Let me just... Okay, you know, I really don't need to do this. Let's go! Go! Into the tunnel we go! Jalama, Kami Memba Wakali, Lakini Namu, Dunkum, Yaberkutan, Gema Maji, Masi, Bergatar, Duniani. Okay, let's make that their village place. And I'm going to already set up for what's to come because, well, the preparation is one of the most amazing things you could have in a game like this compared to doing it blind and just kind of randomly doing stuff. So I guess at least there's that. I know what I'm doing, broskies. Damn it! <laughs> I was trying to set it up so the guy would walk there already. So, on this map, there is a giant tsunami that comes in, well, fuck shit up, to put it bluntly. And we here have to get this power over here, which will enable our people to willingly block out water from messing with them. Okay, that didn't work. What do you mean, help? Dang it, the water over went over the bridge. Go, now, before the water... Son of a whore. I wish they could swim. Come on. It's not even, like, a lot of water. It's just, like, one inch of water. Go, now, while the water's not gonna flood you over. Good man, or woman, whatever it is. Please don't get stuck. Thank you. At least they can walk on partially stuff. Right, what am I doing here? Wait, where was I? Where was I putting things? Ah, yes. I never heard the water. That's how awesome I am. No, you fool! You're kidding me. Your entire village is about to die and you're stuck on some water. Go, go, quickly! Ah! <sighs> That person has a minute to get back to the village and save it. You're kidding me. You're fucking kidding me. Look at that. Oh my god. Go. Quickly. Oh. Jeez.
There! Divert the water. That's what I wanted to do. That was kind of close. I was cutting it. And here comes the tsunami! That comes from nowhere. Oh my god, look at that guy. He's outside the village. Oh man, you are done for. You are done for, guy. Run! Run! No! Oh no! He's gonna live, because people don't really die in this game unless you put lava on them, but still. Oh no! He's doing a good job of not drowning, though. All right. Build your second village. Oh, you guys are stupid. Walk around it. Oh. Oh, he died. The tsunami wave waters have to get out of here. Right about that. <laughs> I'm still getting messaged by people on Skype. Hopefully none of them call me. I don't mind getting messages. But if I get called, oh boy. Alright. No, not the water! Yay! Alright. That wasn't so bad. I'm just gonna drain this out the natural way. I was gonna, like, beforehand, I tried just, like, draining it out one by one, but if you can just do this, that's great. Now the gateway's open! Huzzah! We may depart. Send men to the passage. Okay. Well, first I'm gonna block off this water... this water flow and make it just divert to the right. Gonna need a lot of sand for it, though. Like tons of sand. Like a cubic ton of sand. That that might be enough. Just 
Just a cubic ton. There we go. And that works. Uh, there's nothing I can do about the flooding of this area because the tsunami comes in and then there's also the ocean. I can't block off the ocean with the limited amount of supplies I have here, so that's not going to happen. However, I am content to say that, well, I don't have to worry about this area. Bam. Alright. Okay. Now, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of waiting for the next tsunami while this land is filled to the brim with vegetation. Lots and lots of vegetation. I wonder how it's like knowing that, like, a river is r a waterfall is putting sh tons of water right next to you. Can't do anything about it. You just gotta hope that, like, it doesn't suddenly break over this and flood the land because that's how villages are destroyed, gentlemen. Water and fire. So where can I put this? Anywhere. There go the animals. For whatever reason, not no being nowhere close to the plants. Alright, men, charge! You have 40 seconds! comes the tsunami again. Oh my god! Where did the hell does that come from? Anyways, it just kind of spawns out of nowhere. I love how you can also see the edge of the map, by the way. That's interesting. Oh no! It's not even natural looking. It just kind of rises out of nowhere and starts fucking shit up. Man. I wonder, can I change... That was a quiet mode. Oh, I have my sensitivity still up? Wow. They didn't really do much, honestly. Hey, the journey! Knowledge! The ancients knew that the men disappeared over time, while the knowledge they gained on the journey had to be preserved. This is why they engraved the undulations of the music of knowledge on the stones. The stones of knowledge possess a special form of protection. A member of the tribe must achieve these for a village. Once this man has obtained this knowledge, he paints it on a kite, then returns home. The knowledge thus takes effect. Each village can share the knowledge they possess with the other villages by sending forth a man. Yes, a man. And the shaman. In the past, the tribe did not have a shaman, and the men told the same stories differently each time. 
In order that the breath should speak with one voice, the men named a shaman. The shaman is the medi mediator between the tribe and the breath of the world. The shaman is a man or a woman of the village. The title confers no privileges, and nothing distinguishes the shaman from the rest of the tribe. The shaman is replaced upon death. In the village, the shaman tells stories and deciphers music. Awesome. By the way, I pronounce shaman, shaman. Some people pronounce it shaman. To each his own. Tomato, 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 tomato. You know, tsunamis happen here very often. I'm really surprised this land's even standing still. Like, erosion would just screw this place up. Yay, I finished the place. God damn it, Tsunami. I just drained this river. Fuck it, we're gone. Into the hole, tunnel thing. The first power. Seki dak se baya isti sa si sa zamani. Di mateso di dak mene le ukali. Tapi itu menderita seraga bari. So something you can't see because it's behind me is a volcano. Yep, that's a volcano. You know what that means? I can control lava! I am so awesome. Like I said, gonna set up already since I already know what I kinda have to do. I'm just gonna build up. I have to build this wall. See? Use the lava to rebuild the walls of the ancients. So that's what I'm gonna do. Also, here comes the explosion again! Kind of? Maybe? Who knows? By the way, don't ask me why dumping lava on lava cools it. But that that's how it works. I'm kind of, I'm trying to form a wall around the lava so it doesn't spill over into the land because it likes to do that occasionally. And I don't want that to happen. So I can control lava, but I still can't pick up rocks. That's a shame. Oh wait, you know what? I should be building this wall. How am I doing? Here goes the lava. I love how the erupting lava just like suddenly covers everything with sand. Uh. 
Oh yeah. I really do love being able to control the like that. It's fucking awesome. Alright. We're gonna send someone there. You can do it, man! Or woman! Watch out! The tsunami has come! It won't do anything. I, I think I covered it pretty well. You know, no breaks or anything in the wall. Like that. Tits. Okay. Trying to cover the lava with lava. I'm not sure if it's working or not. I think it. I'm about to make it worse. Yeah. Oh well. I tried. Did I already get the knowledge? Nice. I would have sworn it would have asked me to get it again. So what I'm doing now is I kind of want to get rid of all this water around the land. Um, why? Because I want to, because I want to fill it up. Um, there isn't a lot of place for the vegetation to grow currently, so I'm gonna block off the river and do stuff. Also, yep, I just got a power called Jellify Water. Um, that's exactly what it says it does. It jellifies the water. It basically makes it so the jelly, or the, the water is in like a jelly state. And, you know, it doesn't move, and I can easily manipulate it um, and move it around. And it will stay in that position that I put it in. So if I absorb a bunch of water, there are, the water will stay parted, even if, you know, it's in the ocean or something. And that will allow me to do stuff like, you know, part the water uh, to allow people to walk across it momentarily, or, you know, if there's a lot of water and I don't want more water to flood in, I just jellyfy the water. Like this. Bam. See? I completely stopped the tsunami. It even affects the giant tsunami. But it only lasts like a minute, which isn't too long. It quickly goes out. But I can cancel it in the middle of it, so it's not too big of a problem. So it's like, oh no, you can't use it for... only. It only takes like a minute to recharge. Not even that, actually. It recharges pretty quickly. I 
I'm doing what the ancients did. I'm gonna build a giant mountain range. Here, for no real reason. Here comes the lava! Or not? Here comes the lava! There we go. Yeah, it's a pull out a little bit. It, it's, it's not, you know, completely there currently. And then I trade it all over again. Oh. I don't actually mind the lava spilling over into this canyon. Because then it, it just makes my life easier a little bit. In terms of, like, creating actual land for the place to spread on. Oh shit, you know what I just realized? There's a fucking river leading in here. Get out of here. Freaking rivers. Alright, let's look for any breaks in the water. Because I'm pretty sure I might have left just a little bit uncovered still. The lowest points on the walls need to be covered up here. Oh shit! Um. Fuck. Water. Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck! I lit my village on fire! Oh my god! Shit! Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. Wow. Oops. I didn't think that would happen, wow. That was totally my bad. My bad, guys. I know it doesn't bring back anybody from the dead, but, uh, sorry. Ah, finally. All right, now we're gonna go do this area over here. Populate the land and then hope for the best. I know they gotta help us because we don't know how to swim and... Actually, I don't blame them. That river looks pretty... fast. Oh no! A tsunami! Whoosh! Actually, I probably shouldn't do that. There we go. Is there a source I can block off? Damn. 
Dump love on the tsunami! Oh, I can't. Oh, well. If you really want to be a jerk, you can always gel unjellify the water while they're crossing the river. It's great. Wow. Jellifying the water right before it hits just puts it dead in its tracks. That's not even anywhere high up. Whose fault is that? Shut up! Oh no, I killed the shaman! Ah! Uh... Why are they still coming over here? Why are you still coming over here? Uh, maybe he has to teach them the ability to, you know, do stuff. I don't know. We'll see. I gotta find a way to properly divert this water, though, because I don't want it to, like, flood this village, but at the same time, I don't want it to, like, do other things. Oh shit! Oh fuck! I did it again! I'm sorry! <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? The vegetation's screwing me up. Huh? What? Oh yeah, the tsunami. If you want to go that way, okay. I'm about to jellify the water just to get him. Okay. Anyways, what I'm trying to do over here, as you can see, my vegetation spreadage is a little low. So what I'm trying to do over here is uh, raise this lava crater up a little bit, so the lava starts spilling over the land naturally. Hopefully, it doesn't cover up the lava thing though, because that would suck. This is a great source of infinite lava. Come on, spill over. Oh, okay. That works too, I guess.
Do we have vegetation spreading over here? Yeah, we do. Nice. Three village powers activate. Huh. Alright, I think we're good. Over here. It's just gonna spread along this little island and up onto the fucking lava volcano thing. Hey, look. There's land over here. That's cool. Why don't I fucking, like, make a land bridge to that? That'd be amazing. I wish there was really large... Look at that! That looks cool over there. Make life everywhere across the land. Also, no. Stop. 